Hello, this is Vance Cochran, product owner at Nozomi Networks. Today we're going to talk about the Nozomi Networks Splunk add-on. Setup and configuration. First, we log into our Splunk Enterprise instance. Navigate to the Splunk App Store, browse more apps, search for Nozomi, and you'll find the Nozomi Networks Splunk add-on. Press install, enter your credentials, agree to the terms and conditions, and press login and install. You may need to restart your Splunk instance. If so, do it now. After logging in again, we'll go to the Nozomi Network's Splunk add-on. To begin configuration, press the Configuration tab. Press the Add button. Here, we enter the credentials to communicate with the Nozomi Networks appliance over the Nozomi Networks Open API. We will name this credential Admin Account. Next, we need to configure inputs from the Nozomi Networks appliance. Click on the Inputs tab. Click on Create New Input, and then we select Alert. Here we will call this alert test. Set an interval of 30 seconds using the index Nozomi, the global account, admin account, the Nozomi host IP address or fully qualified domain name. Checkpoint type is auto and press add. And we will repeat the process for adding assets. And here you can see we have configured two inputs from the Nozomi Networks appliance into the Splunk add-on. Now we're going to make sure that our connection has worked properly and look for Nozomi data inside the Splunk instance. We do this with the search window, and you can see we have alert information coming in. Here are the details of some alerts. And let's look at some asset information as well. And here we see detailed information obtained from the Nozomi Networks platform. Let's configure our data models now. Make sure for OT assets we have a proper pivot set up and that the acceleration is turned on. Let's do the same thing. Let's look at the details of the OT assets. And we can see the OT assets have been populated. We'll repeat the configuration steps for alerts as well. And we see that the Nozomi alerts are being populated into the Splunk alerts. Now, let's log into the Nozomi Networks Guardian that the Nozomi Networks Splunk add-on is communicating with. We're going to look at a particular asset and correlate that information in Splunk. Here we see that asset 172.16.0.253 has an alert. Let's look at the details of that asset. Now let's have a look at the Splunk OT Asset Investigator. Let's look for our asset 172.16.0.253, and we find that the Splunk OT Asset Investigator has been populated with the information from Nozomi Networks. The combination of the Nozomi Networks add-on for Splunk and the OT Asset Investigator is a powerful way to see the security environment of your OT network. This is the Nozomi Networks Splunk add-on. Thank you for watching.